Hey, so in this video, I'm going to demonstrate to you how to show the supernatural without using words. This video uh, actually happened a couple days ago in uh, one of the bigger malls here in the city at the bookstore. And so uh, I wanted to just kind of give a bit intro and get you right to the point as to what you're going to see in the video. I started off with a magic trick, which is kind of how I always start conversations. And then I segued into praying for this kid. Now, the way that I do that is I'll show them the trick. Sometimes I'll teach them the trick, but then I'll say, listen, I got to go. But before I do, I'm going to show you one more thing. Now, I can either show you something that's, uh, you know, like another trick, or I can show you something that's real. And nine out of 10 times, they always go, oh, show me the real thing, right? And for that one out of 10 time, uh, is, you know, who wants to see the trick, I say, forget the trick. We're not going to show you the trick when we can show you something real. And I show them the real thing anyways. And so then I use that to segue into praying for them. But I don't use the words, I'm going to pray for you. I'll show you how I do that in this next little video bit here. I uh, hope you enjoy the video. Make sure you share it, like it, comment it, and, uh, and subscribe. Get involved with what we're teaching here. And uh, you can learn how to do this as well. It's super easy. I promise. I guarantee you. If someone really like me can do it, you can do it. So enjoy it. Like I said, man, with this guy, <laughs> the black one, the red one, these guys actually do some pretty crazy things, right? What? <laughs> it's all in the clicking on your tongue. <laughs> okay, now, it's still recording. I'm gonna leave, but before I do, I can either show you one more trick or I can show you something that's real. Something real? With the real? <laughs> you sure you seem a bit hesitant. Hold on a sec. You wanna hold that for me just so we can get it? Okay. This works specifically well with people who have aches or pains or things that are working well. Whatever. You guys are both pretty young, so I doubt you have anything physically wrong. Yeah. Or do you? Do you have, does anybody here have any pain whatsoever? No. At all? Okay. So what we're going to do then, let's uh, let's do it this way. We're going to work with you. All right. Actually, maybe with you. Maybe we'll do both. What I'm going to do is I'm going to... Uh, what well, I want you to hold your hand out just like this. Yeah. You recording yet? Yeah. Yeah. I want you to explain to these guys if you feel anything in the palms of your hand or nothing at all. Okay. You don't feel anything at all? Okay. I'm not going to touch you. Explain to these guys here, what do you feel in the palms of your hands with my hands right here? Uh, I don't know, it's something. I don't know. What's the difference when I take that away? It's, kinda, it's like lighter or something. So when I put it here, there's a pressure? Sure, yeah. And I take it off, there's no pressure. Yeah, yeah for me, it's some like, yeah, some like heaviness. When you, when you take it away, it's like lighter. Yeah? Yeah. Now check this out. Do you feel anything in your chest at all or nothing? Okay. What's the difference with my hand right here? It's safe. I don't know, this feels more pressure. Yeah, you can relax your hands. Now, I want you to do a test for me. Inconspicuous. <clears throat> Essentially, here is, uh, imagine you have a room and the lights are off, completely dark. What happens to the darkness when you turn on the lights? Nothing. Yeah, like the darkness sleeps, right? Yeah. So, when I turn on the lights, which is what you felt in your hand, it's not a literal light. Yeah. It's more like a life, uh, the things of darkness, like, well, blindness. <laughs> I guess maybe not in this case, of pain or sickness, all they, they leave. So, here's the message. If you've ever read the Bible, it talks about God as being a God of light, like a dad of light. And whoever opens up their lives to him become his kids, right? And then they're kids of light. So wherever they walk, the light shines, and it's like, ah, it's cool, right? Whenever you see Jesus healing people, it was always with one touch, one word. It was never weird. It was always cool. Anyways, this was just to say that, you know, God loves you big time. He showed up because he actually created you for a specific purpose. I actually see that you're, you're like, in terms of sciences and engineering, I see that you have a brain that works that direction. You can take, like, parts that are not put together, you can put them together and actually create something out of it. That's a huge gift, man. 
Thanks. Look at that. Uh, I think God's got a call on your life. And uh, just keep pushing in for that. It's not about religion. It's about you know, finding the reality of it. Anyways, man. Thanks Thank for you, man. Thank you, man. Thank you. 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 Thank you.